So, Dustin, this plan is about the same. I'm going to drop you and Griffin at 21BU. 21BU, that's and the then point. And we'll cruise up to Imlas Pond. The overarching goal is to be able to establish a best management practice to be able to monitor population changes for carnivore species. The highest priority are the marten and the fisher, but then there's also a lot of interest in coyote populations, lynx and bobcat. And so by rigorously assessing the use of these trail cameras, we'll be able to know what effort is enough to get a very strong scientific estimate of the population trend. 14. 14 what effort might be too much in some areas, and what other kind of areas, habitat features, would just require so much effort to get any information that it's not a useful approach. And that is our target point. Get as close as we can by, by truck, and then we, uh, we hike the rest of the way in to the target point. And once we arrive there, we set up three different cameras. So we get it kind of in the area where we think it's gonna see the bait. And then we go over, stand in front of the bait, and hold very still, and just move our hand in front of the bait. And if uh, that little light right there triggers, that means that the camera's working and it's gonna detect something if it's there. And it's a project we're doing in collaboration with Inland Fish and Wildlife Agency. And we calculate the probability of detecting an animal. So when we go and we put a camera, what is the probability of detecting a lynx or a marten or a fisher? And then we use this uh, information, we analyze this data, and the final outcome of the project will be that we will tell the agency how many camera traps they need to position in the field, so anywhere in Maine, to be able to detect whether over the long term the populations are increasing or decreasing. The key thing is that these carnivores are harvested for trapping but so far the agency doesn't have an independent protocol to measure if these populations are doing good, they're going up or down, etc. And so once we have this protocol the agency will be able to set up this long-term monitoring and so we'll be able to independently assess how the populations are doing and so possibly adjust harvest rates accordingly. So the people that really are the most interested are people that are invested in the trapping community. It's part of their legacy, part of their upbringing, so they really want to know how these populations are doing. But they are a resource for everyone in Maine. They're an aesthetic value. I, I love them for their role in the ecology, so anyone that's interested in a healthy, complex, functioning forest ecosystem, you need these carnivores running around in the landscape. So to me, obviously, I think they're really important, but um, whether or not people think about them every day, they're out there and they have a role to play. And so knowing what they're doing, uh, if they're doing well, if maybe some areas aren't doing so well, is valuable information for people in Maine in general. The research we're putting in will actually end up becoming protocol which will be implemented in the field. So it's fun because the research is really applied and we know that all the effort we're putting into research now is actually going to end up being uh, something real, something tangible that uh, agency people will do in the, in the future. For me, I want to know at the end of the day that there's going to be some potential to implement really sound management practice, to have some sort of influence um, and to know that there are people that are working on preserving, protecting, maintaining these resources and that I can kind of be part of that team.